Jason Dackman from SVG, we are here at the NAB show in person for the first time since 2019. So excited to be here. One of the highlights of this show is always the Canon booth, and we are here with a good friend of ours, Rich Eilers, to talk a little bit about what you guys have at the show. Rich, first of all, good to see you in person. Oh, it's, we're, we're thrilled to be back and be actually with, with our customers, our friends, and be here in Las Vegas showing you guys all of the new stuff that we got going on. Yeah, well, and there is uh, new stuff. There's also some stuff that has come out during this whole couple of years where we've sort of not seen each other in person, but uh, live productions have nonetheless continued. So give us some of the uh, the big highlights, some of the really cool stuff you guys are excited to be showing here. Well, like you said, we've had a number of a number of years here. It almost has felt like an eternity since we've been on site showing people our stuff. But in those few years, we have been very busy on the technology side. Obviously, a lot of things going on in terms of broadcast lenses. I mean, that we continue to march forward in terms of making new spec and new features on some of our important products. The 122 is a good example. That that lens was introduced just before COVID really came and impacted us and now we're bringing it, you know, its first real showcase here at NAB and we have our opportunity to show it now with a lot of new features uh, that have been put on it. So that's one thing. The CJ20 is another. Uh, CJ20 by 5, a nice lens with a uh, you know that we we put together with a lot of uh, focal length options on a wide angle and a telephoto side. So that's here too. Then we've uh, also been very busy in the camera front. Sure. Yeah, and we've been putting our our camera our camera foot forward and putting a new uh, product called the EOS R5C out. So that's going to be a really interesting thing that we think is going to touch a lot of bases from college to you know venue to you know our network partners are going to find a lot of flexibility in that camera package we'll talk a little bit about that and last but not least uh, our PTZ uh, a lineup has really morphed and evolved into something brand new and really exciting so uh, we'd love to you know just kind of you know touch on that a little bit with you guys as well so hopefully I didn't uh, hopefully I didn't kind of blow the leads on a bunch of these things. No, uh, perfect. We're going to dive a little deeper into each of those three pillars, and uh, we're happy to also be part of a panel that you guys, uh, Arkan Kirschbaumer, is moderating, yes. involving a very cool technology, the the free viewpoint that's going to continue to evolve. Uh, again, just tell us a little bit about that panel when it's taking place. Yeah, free viewpoint uh, panel, there's going to be something that's going to be right here on the show floor, just literally about 150 feet away from the Canon booth, uh, that's going to be uh, an NAB uh, overall sponsored panel, and uh, our good friend Mr. Helmuth from the NBA is going to be on there with Ken Ito, who is kind of our, our business lead on the free viewpoint system. But it's going to be exciting. It's going to talk about a lot of the things that we've done to get the system to this point, a lot of the things that we have to do moving forward. And it's also going to you know talk a little bit about the uh, some of the studio things that we do with uh, with free viewpoint as well. We have a studio in Kawasaki in Japan that is, uh, is active and running and doing a lot of interesting things to get that technology moving forward. But I hope that everybody gets a chance to come and see that panel on Tuesday. It's going to be a very exciting stuff going on in terms of a completely different look. Very cool. Yeah, very so. cool. And, and I know you guys are doing some, some private demos of Free Viewpoint. Just a cool technology. We can't wait to see where it goes. So from lenses to DSLR cameras uh, to the PTZs to uh, the, the Free Viewpoint, you guys have a lot going on. We're going to dig a little deeper. But uh, Rich, thanks so much for, for taking some time. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to take a deeper look at uh, the lens side of Canon's booth this year. Obviously, always some exciting things when it comes to lenses at NEB. We're with Josh Stoner, good friend of SVG. Josh, tell us about the 122 lens and some of the exciting things that you guys have at the show this year. Yeah, sure. So we've added autofocus to our 122 buy. So we, now we have our standard, industry standard 122 AF, or now it has AF in it. So now you can zoom way out, it'll snap into focus really quickly for you. You can run it in full-time autofocus, part-time autofocus, or no autofocus. But it is definitely a very fast, very accurate autofocus lens. Very cool. And I know you guys also, the CJ20 uh, by 5 is, is a big one for you guys here. Tell us a, a little bit about that. Yeah, so the CJ20 by 5 is a really nice in-between lens. So you have a wide end at 5 millimeters, and it's a nice, flat, juicy wide end with a 20 times throw. So you get out there to a 100 millimeters really quickly. All right, and to take a little bit of a deeper look at the new R5C DSLR camera from Canon, we're excited to have Ryan Snyder with us. Ryan, thanks for taking the time. Thank you, Jason. 
So tell us a little bit about this uh, really, uh, you know, video first DSLR, which is a, a new offering from Canon. Absolutely. So this is the newest in our Cinema EOS line of cameras. And uh, that's very important because, as you said, it is a video first product. The, we've always had, you know, amazing still cameras and they did video. This is taking a step in a different direction. This is a video first camera that takes excellent stills. And it all comes down to this switch on top. The In photo mode, you've got basically an R5, so great 45 megapixel still images, really fast frames per second. You're covered for anything that you want to do photography-wise and compatible with all the EOS R5 accessories. But you flip it into video, and now you've got an absolute cinema EOS camera. You've got the same menus, the same operation, and most importantly, the same video codecs that we find on the cinema EOS cameras. So standard XFAVC, which is an M uh, MXF wrapper, as well as quick turn and burn codecs like uh, MPEG-4 uh, in there. And you have all of the assist functions that you would find on a true video and cinema camera. So no longer do you have to shoot video. You look at a, a histogram, you've got a waveform monitor, vector scope, you've even got a time code terminal on here for doing actual multicam work. Very cool. All right, well, Ryan, thanks for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Make sure to stop by the Canon booth, get a look at the R5C Canon's uh, latest video-first DSLR.